and welcome to Under the Plum Bob, a podcast about all things related to the EA Max's series of games called The Sims and simulation games like it. My name is Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Allie. We had a social bunny today, guys. Woohoo! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a button. I forget. There's a button. <laughs> You will get the air horn when I host these episodes. <laughs> I don't touch <laughs> any. <laughs> I deleted half the soundboard the last time I started doing things, so I don't touch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Social Bunny. It's Social Bunny. And there was, we were talking about before we recorded, there was like no news in March whatsoever. And then like April and May just went bleh and just so much news. Like March, they were working on everything, and then April's like, "Here we go, we did everything. Here you go, we can yeah. take it out." <laughs> Pretty much, and we'll announce it at the top, so we can we'll announce it again at the end. This is our last episode before our summer break. Yes, yes, we are kicking, <laughs> going off. <laughs> school's summer out, school's out, school's out for summer. Woohoo! And I always forget what summer break is as an adult. Yeah, cause... yeah. <laughs> I had somebody be like, oh, yeah, they graduated, and it was, like, early May, and I was like, this early? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I always thought it was late May. I know. We, I I work in a restaurant, and we're near a bunch of schools, so I always keep track of that. So we just went through our restaurant gauntlet, as I call it, graduation season. Graduation, um, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Yep. Yeah, holidays. We're a big like party store, so a lot of like oh. the big parties like to come in. You look yeah. so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm staffed correctly and everybody's on point, it's great. It's busy. We're running through stuff, but we're getting it out. It's just when it all goes flying for shit, I'm just like, God. Damn oh yeah, it, I feel that they. My job fired three people within a month before Memorial Day weekend. So oh no, it's oh been no, fun. oh no, 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 no. That's oh, the wrong. No. You to keep them, even if they're trash, they'll at least like pick up. They'll hold a yeah. broom or something. Their their bodies body. out on the floor. <laughs> Wait, yeah. At least a body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Side note, Allie, does on your TikTok is Bistro Huddy on your TikTok at all? Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my managers will just will just send those memes, those videos back and forth to each other. I love Bistro Huddy so much. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I wish we could. <laughs> I was like, Terry just quit. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Will Terry come back? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all do come back around eventually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who walked back in through <laughs> our door. Oh, what I thought happened? we were never going to see you again. Sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to have something in your back pocket. You're like, eh, you'll bring you'll 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 bring me back. It's fine. Yeah, you'll yeah. set me back. <laughs> Some people leave, and you're like, hmm, you're coming. I give you two weeks, and you'll yeah. be back here. <laughs> At least a month. You'd be like, do you guys still need people? Like, no. I can pick up some hours if you need to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so kits, 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 uh, and all the kits. Kits, kits. So kits, many freaking kits. kits. So two kits dropped immediately after. Our last social bunny. Sims 4 Urban Homage Kit. Homage? Homage? Homage Homage or homage? homage? It's H-O-M-A-G. Homage. Homage. (laughs) How come I just about to say (laughs) that? (laughs) Homage. Homage. (laughs) However you want to pronounce it. (laughs) It's a fashion kit. Simmer Mm -hmm. Ebonics crafted it. She wanted to play homage to, oh, it is homage, I guess. I said 80s, 90s, and aughts trends, which she did. There's a butterfly shirt, guys. There was a butterfly shirt. This is a really cute kit. I like this kit. Now, is there a hairstyle with butterfly clips is what I need? No. No, sadly. There is like a good, it's not a turban because the thing comes this way. Like a wrap or something? Oh, the little wrap thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's the bundle is over here in the front. Okay. Funny story. I tried doing that style one time mm-hmm. and I got it going and then I was out and about and it fell off. Oh, I was no. saying it's it, it that's just, gotta it be just, tight <sighs> to make to not go full forward. Like, mm-hmm. Damn it. 
it was like in Target too. And I was like, God dang it. <laughs> it just like slid off. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I've been revealed. I'm revealed. <laughs> like, this is not go the way I thought it was going to go. I thought I was looking like, hot shit. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> hair said no. <laughs> I know. Release me, said the hair. Let <laughs> <laughs> me <must be> free. <laughs> Oh, but this kid's cute. I do think it's like if you are a cast bitch like myself, I think this is a necessary kit. Not this. Well, it's a good kit to have if you're a cast. If you're a cast bitch, there's some fun tops and like some a good variety of things. So that yeah. butterfly top's like a good clubbing top in the early two thousands. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, ooh, that's a good. And I feel like it's coming back just because I was at the store yesterday and there was so much butterfly shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> really nostalgic for that butterfly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your time is back. It's the year of the butterfly. Again. Welcome back. Your time. Abonix, I guess there was like a big to do about the fact that urban was the word urban was used. Like a lot of people attacked EA and then it came out Abonix named it. <laughs> like it's just she's like, she wanted to name it that. That's the only Discord I heard about this particular and then people shut up. So, y'all just leave it alone. The ebb and flow of we're not. I think we're for the better not being on Twitter anymore because the things that people would get mad at oh, yeah. and then be like, never mind, was just all of it. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even. I don't, I don't miss it. No. Mm-mm. Too much. Mm. Throwing out for the people who are still on there. Yeah. <laughs> or X, as they call it. Eh. Oh, It'll all be Twitter. I just, I'm sorry. It's gonna be Twitter. It's still Twitter. It's always gonna be Twitter. Yeah. X is a dumb name. Mm-hmm. Unless it's like a finance. X is a good like finance website, I feel. Yeah. Not a good social media website. See that thing on X last night? No. 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 That also sounds like a sports channel. Mm-hmm. Or or a more adult themed channel. Oh yes. It's all of those things. <laughs> all those things. Just not not Twitter. <laughs> not Twitter. Not a social not a I posted this recipe. You guys should check it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's on X. X. We also got a party essentials kit. Dazzle and delight with party props, including eye-catching streamers, and trancing fog machine, and a versatile bar bar that can More stick bars. around another part after party. Why do they have so many freaking bars? I'm sick of the bars. I like rarely ever... I used to put a bar in my Sims house a lot. Now I don't anymore. Mm-mm. No. It's just... All the Sims, they just want our Sims to be alcoholics. Yeah. It's too much. I wasn't too wowed by this kit. I thought some of the, um, there's some wall features that are like neon lights are very cute. Like some of, there's a lot of swatches that are pretty adorable. And the fog machine's kind of fun. But otherwise, this was not a very exciting kit. I like the ceiling lights. I put those up in a lot of places. Um, The speaker is very... It's small, so it doesn't stick out as much as the speaker in the base game or any of the other packs. Okay. And other than that, oh, the record player. The record yeah. player is the, my favorite thing in the pack. That's about it. It was mainly that neon light wall swatch that there was a lot of different varieties in that swatch. Yes. And I liked that a lot. That was it. The balloons are dumb. The balloons look bad. I'm I hate just, the, the balloons. balloons are dumb. Not even going to lie. I hate the balloons. <laughs> the balloons look so bad. Like, they don't even have the right... Um, they don't look like rubber. They look um, hard. They look like they're a hard surface. I don't know how to put it. They look solid, I guess. Is yeah. The best. <laughs> they could be rocks. You don't know. I feel like this would be cute if, like, the wedding stories worked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it does not. Or, like, if you had to decorate for, like, the high school, like, prom and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, this would be fun. Like the balloons are too. giving me prom. Like the balloons are giving yes, me prom really. feels. Also, why can't we? I wish there was a way that we could pick to decorate for prom. Like there was a way, That'd like, hey, cool. yeah, can, do you want to come and decorate for prom so that we can go in and decorate it ourselves? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or be like, if your Sims like the on that committee or whatever, and be like, oh, oh, they should have a school, school, more like school groups, and then be like, oh, you're on the school group, you get to decorate or something like that. Yeah. yeah, get out of Sims. Let's just take over EA. It's mm-hmm. been it's been long enough. We've let them do what they wanted for too long. 
You've done this for too long. It's our time now. You're not doing it right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> for a coup. Let's go coup things. <laughs> Under the plum bob coup. <laughs> Seasons of love. And then, and yeah. Seasons of Nothing happened. That's the end that happened in April. And then, boom, May. We get a roadmap for, I assume it's May, June, July. I think so. Maybe think so, into yeah. August. They got some stuff. A lot of the stuff we've already gotten, also. Yeah. A lot of the yeah, stuff they, has already dropped. True. They dropped a lot of this already. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get this. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 right now. <laughs> what if they dropped immediately the day after? So the first one was Priming for Passion. So the whole theme was Seasons of Love, Season of Love, which is you missed it by a month. That's right. Not you including will- April. <laughs> <laughs> it's not February and it would have made sense. Well, oh, no, two months. Well, you missed it by, like, it's wrong. This is, this is not the season of love. This, you've missed it, but I guess. So it's priming for passion. Polished my polished my look for a sultry splash. Two free stylish updates, one of which drops immediately after that. There was a swimsuit update that happened three days later. A lot of swimsuits came with the base game. A lot. I tried to have somebody, like, I tried to count it, and then I gave up. So <laughs> there was, like, it was a lot, though. Seven yeah. tops with, like, a bunch of new swatches. The ones that came with base game all got a bunch of new swatches, and then we got a few new tops and bottoms, I think, mm-hmm. like okay. to make like tankinis. Got a lot of tankinis now, which I was happy about because I do yes. love a tankini. I do also love a tankini. So I was like, yeah, I like that we're embracing the tankini. Thanks, Sims. <laughs> and this one we got, we just got last week as of this recording. The meeting, the meeting, a little nectar led to a provocative plunge. Two destination kits. Which is two more kits that have that. So it's four kits total since <laughs> <laughs> since our last book of bunny. <laughs> kits, kits. I'm kits. so over kits. Like I don't mess with kits. Give me something else. I'm willing to buy money for something else. <laughs> Or pay money. <laughs> Will you pay money for something else? Buy, you want to buy money? That's not or how buy money. money. Works. I would no. like to buy money. <laughs> buy money. I would like to buy a money, please. I would like to buy a money, please. One Can money. I buy a money. One trillion monies. Give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> you also, know. that's how like uh, crypto sounds sometimes. <laughs> Crypto Honestly. and NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> this has value because I said it has value. Yes. Which is almost also how art and stock market works. Except for art, you have the thing. So it's the Mm -hmm. least. Art is, this has value because I said it has value. And then the stock market is made up. So my brain decides it doesn't make (laughs) sense. You're not going to learn it. (laughs) Makes zero sense. I've had a friend try to explain it to me multiple times, the stock market. And I can feel the information going. And then it hit a wall in my brain and just go, whee. Yeah. I've tried that too. I was like, no, I'm like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So I'm not touching it. No. Like, so no, it's no. just made up. Right. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, so, so yes. There's no so yeah. then what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? And then the fact that like we took over the stock market for that. Um, what was that store that everyone GameStop. was like game? Yeah. The GameStop thing. And they went, no, we make it up. Don't you don't make it up. We make it up. <laughs> they really did. We're like, wait, no. Yeah. Why are you manipulating our stuff? We manipulate it, not you guys. We do. We're mad at you now. <laughs> and they're like, is there a way that we can make it so no, like only we touch it? And it's like, well, we want, we don't want this business to fold. So we did it for that. And we did it for AMC because we don't want these businesses <laughs> to die. No, AMC can go because I shouldn't have to pay twenty five dollars for a movie ticket for AMC. Mm-mm. they have the better no. seats near me so i can't they do they do have good but seats not 23 dollars seat yeah no that's what i that's one of the subscription things i have so then i so i pay a, mo- a monthly thing no yeah a monthly thing and then on friday on tuesdays i go for five dollars i don't know if this is a glitch or not because i bought tickets for my whole like for four people and it costs five dollars total oh wow oh. and i don't i thought it was supposed to be five dollars each but it was five dollars total for four people, and I was like, "Huh, I'm not gonna tell anybody." So that's we're why just they're gonna... charging other people twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you let me do it, so I'm letting it happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so we got cozy bistro kit. 
Because everybody, because we can't just revamp the dine in. Why right? can't they just out. revamp dine out? We can't Why revamp we... dine out. Refresh dine out, make it work, and give us this new shit. Why was Spa Day updated? And I didn't even have a big problem with Spa Day. Spa Day was good for what it was supposed to be. And they're like, we're adding things. You're like, okay. And then you didn't touch another one. Why didn't we touch any other kit, any other thing? <laughs> I feel like dine out can be revamped. Even outdoor retreat, I feel like outdoor you could, retreat you needs could to get revamped. Revamp. Yes, get get to work. I think also because that was the first one. Yes. So that's probably they can definitely probably revamp it, especially with all the other stuff they've added so lately. Mm-hmm. They can they definitely can add another another. Just add like here's another another career. Here's another career, and the, here's the ones that will work as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> cozy, cozy bistro. bistro. <laughs> It's a build kit. Step into a creative hole in a wall bistro and take in the ambiance with your purchase. Well, when you purchase this kit today, uh, the welcoming awnings, classic <laughs> furniture. <laughs> it's also I couldn't pronounce. I couldn't figure out the pronouncing of the words for a hot minute. Then it clicked. Like, oh, yeah, awnings. <laughs> That's a good way to remember. It. Yeah. <laughs> awnings. Awnings. <laughs> classic furniture and inviting atmosphere in this collection. Set in the scene of an elegant evening spent sipping nectar. Ideal for a romantic rendezvous. Ooh. This is cute. I, I was looking at it. I got this one already. I like it. Um, basically, every wood panel you see has like 10 different swatches. And like oh, anything okay. that is wood comes in that those colors. That's a big, for me, for kits, a big thing to say if it's good or not. Or if it has enough stuff worth $5 is if. Because they all have about 25 items or something. But if they each item has over 10 swatches, that's when I'm like, that's worth more that's money. Because mm-hmm. sometimes they don't have, there's only two swatches. I'm like, that's bullshit. Everything needs to have so many swatches because you're only giving us XYZ items. Like that that little bench for a table, for tables and stuff is so much better than the ones that are in Dine Out. Yes. It's very French. It's very French. Yes. It's very thing. Parisian. That painting has a bunch of different swatches that are really cool. I like that a lot. That's cute. I like the tiles. The four tiles look cute. Mm-hmm. The um wine bottle felt like, and then some wine to ma- so we can make it yeah. work in this. <laughs> <laughs> random clutter object. Okay. Here's a wine bottle. I'm surprised we don't have a random. We probably have a wa- random wine bottle item. I think we do. I think we do huh. somewhere. Probably. We definitely have that wine rack. Item oh, that's just rack. in there. Yes. Usually the alcohol bottles are like debug items that you gotta pull out. Oh, so this isn't just a non-debug item. Yeah, this is actually in the game to oh. use. Okay. Well, oh, okay. la da Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it had a lot of dark wood options, which made it seem like yes. expensive. Like, <laughs> I can see that. Just was doing an overview, and I was like, you can spend $75 here quickly. Like, that's yeah. what it felt like with all the items laid out. If you get, like, a full meal and not just, like, a cup of coffee and a glass of wine or something. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Y'all made me, made me fuck with a kit. <laughs> <sighs> My opinion, I think this one is worth the five bucks. And I would get, um, this is further down. I don't know if it's still happening or not, but that Blooming Grove kit, I would get that, too. Oh yeah, it's got like so much green. Like that, it's that one's probably worth the five dollars. But grab it real quick because it's just pretty. It's just got a lot of pretty things. If it's still free, please go get it. Yep. Ooh, they're giving us free shit. Just take it. Just take yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you already bought it, please don't complain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you bought it already, but please don't complain. I've seen that a lot. <laughs> People gotta stop. <laughs> We're just complaining society. Come on now, guys. <laughs> we complain when it's free. We complain when we buy. It's our American right to complain. <laughs> we gotta complain about everything. Where's my flag? <laughs> it's to nag and complain. Merca. Merca. Nagging. <laughs> Because especially since it's not, like, the first thing that they've been like, you can have this for free for a limited time. It's not the first time they've done it. So, like, yeah. if you really want to wait for things to be free, you can wait. But if $5 you spent a year and a half ago, don't be, like, being mad about stuff you spent a year and a half ago is wild. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
like no, of definitely. all the of all the ones they've given away, I had one of them already, and I'm just like, oh okay, that's fine. Let other people get it for free now. If only I had known five months ago that this right? would have been free. I would not have dropped money on it. I felt like I could see five months into the future. Yeah. <laughs> Sims, just give us a list of when you plan on ever giving things for free so we know never to buy anything. Do you think they did it because it was the holiday weekend? <laughs> I was trying to figure out why they threw that one out and why they picked that one. Probably least bought one. Which is wild because I think that's a really good one. And did they just randomly throw a dart at a dartboard? Maybe. I thought maybe <laughs> they did it because it was like one of their better kits. So in order to be like, look, all the kits are like this one. And then, <laughs> then people get tricked into buying other ones. Yeah. They're like, dang I it. I can see that. And then the other one was also a build by kit. Riviera Retreat Kit. Riviera Retreat. Build a secret spot that's ideal for spending quality time with someone special. Relax in a wicker lounge chair, watching as sunlight shines through the vine-colored pergola and sparkles in your private waterfall. Set your comfortable linen furniture up among earthy features like stone pavers for a space that's timeless, blending the fresh and clean with the natural to create a space where troubles melt away. I was very surprised by this one. That gazebo's very cute. And it's yes. cute. Okay. <laughs> that is very cute. Mm-hmm. And this one has like way more swatches than the bistro kit does. It's got Ooh. a waterfall. It's got like yeah. a new, there's a waterfall. A waterfall's included. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about the waterfall. And then I also totally forgot about the pool tiles. This would go good with spa day. Ooh. I feel Ooh, this would yeah. be like a good spa day compatible. Yes. Or like that. And um, not, didn't they have like a perfect patio? Like yeah. stuff set yeah. or something? Yeah, mm-hmm. they did. These both feel... These both feel rich. These both feel yes. like fancy outdoor adventures. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at EA trying to be fancy. <laughs> fancy. I don't know. Game Pack would be fantastic too. But I'll, I'll right. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. don't know because the Game Pack started sucking. Like at some point, at some point, at one point, the Game Packs were the better options. Like the Game Packs were always hitting, and then. The game pack started sucking and then the stuff kits started to get really good and then they dropped the stuff kits immediately after they figured out the stuff kits. And the expansions have been like, why Why was this an expansion pack? That's been our yeah. loop-de-loop-de-loop. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes their game packs are as good as their expansion. Yeah, it felt like expansion packs. Their expansion packs felt like they were like stuff packs. And I'm like, y'all figure it out. Yeah, bringing in kits made it all confused. Yeah. It seemed like they finally hit a good part for what a stuff pack should be with a good amount of stuff. Like paranormal, like hit it out of the park and then they dropped it immediately. But yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that also could be blamed on the pandemic mm-hmm. because that was like the last kit, but that was the last stuff pack before the pandemic. And then the kits came in after pandemic. Oh, okay, I can see that. The timeline's all like, I guess I can see it, but you're you're sticking to your guns with the kits, and I don't understand. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's it's a lot. Like, there's others. We can do others, guys. Yeah. Do we good. Do something else. I wonder if it's one person who they keep moving around, and that person keeps making things work, and then they move on to help another thing, and then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything falls else apart. falls apart. <laughs> What was our last good? Sorry, what was? I'm gonna wrap a hole now. What was our last good game pack that came out? Because my wedding stories didn't work. No, werewolves no. were furries. Yeah, dream home decorator. Yeah, that one. Strangerville was better than people wanted it to be. Jungle Adventure was all right. Mm. Mm. I guess I'm just thinking about Spa Day. I like Spa Day. I liked Parenthood for what Parenthood was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people got mad that Parenthood wasn't whatever that sims 3 equivalent was but i don't think it was trying to, yeah it wasn't yeah. trying to be generations maybe i was wrong maybe i lied about what because realm of magic is okay dream home decorator was okay but yeah after the initial play through that i was just like okay that's a thing that felt like they wanted to get builders into playing the game and oh yeah it didn't, but it didn't, it didn't really work, work. <laughs> it was just not as good as what sims 3 ambitions gave us and nobody wanted star wars journey that was Journey of no Batu, nobody that. asked for, so we were mad about it. Once again, apologies to people that actually like Batu. I should play it at some point, so I'm not just <laughs> talking to <laughs> <laughs> No one wanted it. It's fine. It's a cash grab, okay? We get it. It was a we cash grab, yeah. 
So I think collectively, so now I'm on, a, now I'm on um, expansion packs. Cottage Living was highly received. Snowy Escape was highly received. High School Gears. That was better than people thought, I think. Didn't they? Yeah, think but, but it didn't feel as Enough. cohesive as Cottage Living. Yeah, it felt like yeah. there was just some like, the school was so barren or like, why oh, was yeah. this like this? Yeah, that's the one thing about high school years is I keep telling people, just download a new school off the gallery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like growing together for all the little things it added. It added a whole bunch of, like, tiny little fun little nuance things. Horse Ranch felt like a game pack. I don't yeah. understand why that's an expansion. Yeah. They did not give us enough for a full expansion on that one. Yeah, Horse Ranch, wait till that goes on sale. That's not. And then Four Reds broken, so... So university was the last decent expansion. Watching these not the, like the metric like. score be like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Ugh, get it together, EA. That was 2019. Come on now. Come on. It's been five years now. Which <laughs> I, the th- the fact that I had to think about that, like, oh my god, it's been five years. <laughs> five years since what? Since university came out. Oh, that's also what that one. It shouldn't take Sims like whole young adult life to go to university yeah that's what i hate about that also should not take them half a day to get to their classes which is why i never have them live in the dorms <laughs> no that too they live at they live at home you anywho sorry rabbit hole. <laughs> anyway <laughs> no you're good <laughs> riviera was good uh riviera was definitely worth your five bucks if you're gonna get it that one yeah it looked cute i was just i was like oh a water i don't know why the waterfall was like oh fancy and that because the gazebo is really nice it's huge yep. too the tiled walls uh, will look good in a kitchen. Yes, I agree. And little bonfire thingy. Mm-hmm. That's cute. Yeah, I've started to, for any of these kits, be like, how many swatches do, especially like the clothing, it's like, how many swatches do we get? Like if we get, if there's 12 swatches on this one shirt, okay, that's good. Like that was, if there's only five swatches on all the items, that's not good. We no. need at least... <laughs> That's what impressed me about the Riviera kit is because there were at least 12 for nice. almost every item. Nice. Yeah, that's the first thing I look for is like, how many swatches? That's true. Oh, look, they do have an expansion pack coming. Yeah. On the way, one flirtatious expansion pack, Fountain of Desire, made waves, but we wahooed anyway, which is, I don't understand, I guess. <laughs> yeah. one, more, <laughs> sure. one more spot for us to wahoo in. Okay. Yes, that'll be the whole expansion. Yeah, <laughs> the whole expansion is new places for woohoo. Just every place. <laughs> woohoo! They're, com- love. They're coming for wicked whims somehow. Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> they do not want to mess with that least. <laughs> wicked whims would just be like, Haha, "That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Go ahead and try and do what we do." Like yeah, a little PG version of what we do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's a lot of um, theories about I found about what this could be. Um, us collectively on the podcast went if they don't put the stupid heart shaped bed in this. Yes, yes. Heart shaped bed, heart shaped hot tub. Come on, it's right there, guys. Yeah. Come um, on. People think that it could be a destination world. Um, with the expansion pack based around a romantic getaway. I saw some people throwing out ho- hotels, which I don't know the difference considering how much the rent thing is. Because don't we kind of have hotels, homes? Vent- vacation rental homes, basically. I feel like because we have that, I don't know if we'll get hotels. I don't yeah. know, like, the difference. Unless in- they add a way to, like, manage your own hotel. But so they can't make us run a restaurant well. I yeah, guess I'd true. Be, I'd be worried about, because we can't. I, cause even in running a restaurant, I can't have my sim cook the food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to have them take these bags up or take these, whatever, if it's a hotel wise. Is it just going to be like, if you play Diner Dash long enough, eventually you go to a hotel once you're done with your little diner and it's all fixed, you go over to a hotel. And I was like, are we just going to be doing what Flo does? Just like running around? <laughs> I'm okay with that too. I love me some Diner Dash. <laughs> I, I had to take it off my phone because I was playing it too much. I was like, this, is, this isn't good for me. <laughs> I had to too. I had to stop. But then for a minute, I was like, I started like paying some of the stuff. I was like, oh, I need a little bit more of this to get this. Yeah. And I was like, Sending it to my phone bill, and then I saw my phone bill was like, ooh, 
I was like, no, you spent 30 bucks, girl. Put it down. I have like Google away. rewards where I'll do little surveys. Mm-hmm. And I do that, that too. Was, that was the money that was okay to use on Diner Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I do that too. I'm like, you pay for partial, then I'll pay the other $2. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did it. I saved money. Yay. <laughs> girl math. I you got that. this. Girl yeah. math. Girl math. <laughs> and eventually it led to us taking it off our phones. <laughs> yes. We girl mathed into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thoughts of Paris being an inspiration, considering we just had that bistro thing right now. Or Latin America, based on the art style of the roadmap, was also thrown out. Mm. I could see either one. I really could. Because I don't know all of their... Because Tortuga was kind... Tor, not Tortuga. Tartosa? That's the place from Pirates. <laughs> And Torga- Tornaga's that guy from Shogun. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Tartosa. Tartosa, thank you. <laughs> from uh, Wedding Stories was kind of, yeah. It's Italian slash Mediterranean. I'm hoping for an attraction system. I know we got kind of close with Get Together with, like, compatibility. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't. It's not exactly an attraction system like we had in Sims Two, so maybe we can get that. Because sometimes I don't want to pick for my Sims. I want just what do you? Who do you want? What do you like? Pick something. There's people here. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you, but have make have a choice. Yeah, pick one. <laughs> you generate one for me, and then I will go <laughs> go from there. <laughs> like I made you these four options. Which one do you like? Like Frankenstein, these men for you. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I picked ones from the gallery to insert into this world for a reason, girl. Yes. Pick one. <laughs> Have you heard that thing for if you're trying to figure out a place to get like dinner with a group of people? Like just narrowing it down to I pick. It's either this or this. This is what I narrowed it down to. You have to pick one of these two things to make it like easier. Instead of like, where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want? To- I don't know. It's like we can either go here or here. What do you want? Do you want Italian or do you want something Mexican food? And then <laughs> you go from there. <laughs> and then my group of friends will throw in a third option just to f- just to throw fuck it, it all up. Like, or we'll be, I've had it where it's like, okay, we pick this one and then we'll be get it like out the door and it's like, you wonder what I feel like? Oh my God. And you're like, son of a bitch, come on. I had a plan. <laughs> no, we'll do it. My dad will do that. He won't, he won't want to be a part of the whole discussion of trying to figure out everything. And then as we all figured it out, he'd be like, so what are we doing? Where are we going? Are we sure we're doing this? I'm like, bruh, just sit there and we're going. We're going. <laughs> or someone who didn't going. want to be involved at all went, are we sure we want that after it's yep, been collected? That's him. You could, have, that's yeah. you could have had an opinion 20 minutes ago. It's no longer We asked the you. Time. You said whatever y'all decide on. We decided. The polls are closed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you had your chance. You blew it. <laughs> Not my fault. You sat there playing on your phone with your headphones in because <laughs> you didn't want to go or back and forth. <laughs> anyway. Did we finish with the Cretaceous expansion pack? Yeah, I think so yeah, it'll be, we don't we don't know anything. But considering I would expect it, this came out in May, and we've pretty much gotten like half of this already. We might not get it until July would be my bet, because otherwise there's only like one f- more free drop to get, and I feel like that'd be a good July thing, and then drop it in August. And I okay. think I think that's what they did with Horse Ranch last year. Because the last thing they dropped was the expansion. Mm-hmm. And that was like middle of the summer. Yeah. What's that one? Is that Italy that has the big fountain, fancy fountain? Oh, an Italy one. Ooh, yeah. I'm just thinking of the Fountain of Desire. I don't know why. Oh. And then they can like woohoo in the fountain if they want to. Ooh, Ooh I like that. I think there's like Rome has some pretty big fountains. There we go. I think it's Rome. Oh, Rome is in Italy, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh yeah, so the Treve Fountain is in Rome. It's an 18th century fountain in the Treve district of Rome, Italy. Blah, 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 blah. We're in the Wikipedia now. Um, It's one of the most famous fountains in the world. Yeah, it's that huge. It's huge. Oh, that is huge. You can throw coins in it. Yeah, there's like a whole thing about throwing a coin like over your shoulder. Oh yeah, there is. 
So I th- Italy, Rome, Italy is a good guess too. Especially, yeah, you mentioned, yeah, fountains. That's where Lucy McGuire was discovered. <gasps> That's yeah. true. This is what dreams are made of. <laughs> hey now. Oh, sorry. Hey now. Try to see if there's like romantic influences or like connotations. I don't see it, but it's still a big fountain. I'm sure other places have fountains, but that just clicked in my head. I was like, oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 3,000 euros a day. My God. So do they like wow. scoop the coins at the end of the day? Or do they just keep the coins there? How do they count that? I feel like you'd have to, that'd be like a once a week thing. Unless like it's completely, the bottom is complete. Maybe you wait till the bottom's completely gone and then you sweep it. And then just kind of shovel. Yeah. Interesting. Long brooms and suction hoses. <laughs> that would do it. That will do it. That will do it. <laughs> I, re- I forgot that technically, like, they could vacuum it up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I guess turn the fountain off and then start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found a video, I think, of them doing it. <laughs> It looks like they kind of drain it and then they they like broom it all to the side. Okay, uh, I can see them doing that to have probably to clean it too as well. Yeah, probably, like while you're yeah. in there, just get all the coins out of there. You guys, <laughs> I wonder if they're like you can keep what you find, just clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, it's a whole thing. For some odd reason, I thought it was just like one guy going in there, but yeah, there's like so oh, many dude. guys in there. <laughs> a mermaid just like getting my big coins. <laughs> Speaking of coins, EA wants to give you stuff for free. Oh, Woo! yeah. The, the Blooming Rooms kit. Don't know if it's still... If it's still free, go get it, like we said. But if not, sorry you missed it. It's a cute kit. So you guys think it's because it's not selling well, and I think it's because it's one of their cuter kits. <laughs> I think it could be somewhere in the middle there. Like, mm-hmm. it's a cute kit. It's not doing as well. Let's Here, everybody, free. have it for free. Okay. I like the dartboard idea too. Hmm, which kit are we gonna give for free? I mean, you know, like some of them, like they'll never give Bust the Dut away for free because it's got the most problems. So they got to take that out. So the ones that like just aren't good, they have to remove because don't get I that still one think for free. That was the most stupidest kit. Why would I want to like make my house more dirty to clean it? I can barely clean my house as it is. Why is there no broom? That's my biggest yeah issue. The with broom. It. Was there's no off the grid option. You just why is dust. the Roomba always broken? The dust bunny was cute though, but we haven't had a kit that had gameplay sense because that one was so broken that yeah. we haven't had a gameplay kit since. They, they quickly <laughs> learned on that one. We can't do that. Never mind. No. Nope. Oh, we nope. forgot the game is broken. And speaking of the game being broken, the Sims team Ooh. announced. You're welcome. Back to back. Oh, wasn't that good? Back to back segways. No, I like that <laughs> segway. Ooh. The Sims announced in like an open letter apology. I don't know. It was on their Instagram. It was everywhere. The Sims announced they're aware of the technical. Should we just read it? Someone want to yeah, read it? Yeah, I can read it. <laughs> to our community, we know. <laughs> Didn't know it was going to be so formal. <laughs> <laughs> to our community, we know that technical issues with The Sims 4 have interrupted your gameplay over time, and we recognize that this has caused you much frustration. What? Today, <laughs> we share that we have assembled a team. You would think they would already have a team to invest in the core game experience, including tackling your related concerns. This newly found and focused team means we'll be able to increase both the number of fixes and the frequency in which we ship these patches updates. Our first release is scheduled for the ah, for the next patch later this month of May 2024, with others following roughly every two months. The details of this month's release are in the laundry list. A very long laundry list, <laughs> which is available now on The Sims 4's newsroom. Additionally, we'll continue making core improvements to the performance of The Sims 4. Our next patch will include some optimizations across platforms so the game uses less memory. As a result, you may experience fewer crashes, a better frame rate, and or a more responsive simulation. 
Thank you for your continuing to play and invest in The Sims 4. Invest. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Our team is more dedicated than ever to develop great The Sims 4 gameplay experiences into the foreseeable future. And we appreciate your support for these critical improvements. Roll out. Dag Dag, The Sims team. Yeah, the first question everybody asked was, why don't you have a bug fixer team in the first place? Your game's been broken right? since launch. Why is this new? And the laundry list also isn't new. The laundry list has been around for a long ass time. Yeah, I announced the laundry list like a while ago saying we're going to fix stuff. So the, now yeah. you're going to actually take the time to fix stuff? <laughs> like what were you doing before? Like what? I feel like the laundry list was like those easy tasks you put on your to-do list. Like, well, I was going to do this anyway, but I'm putting it on my to-do list. So I feel good about marking it off. And then they never did their to-do list. Yeah, I, I always end my to-do list with write to-do list, so then I can cross it off. <laughs> I did that. You're welcome, everybody. I already got a good start on it. So I think it's because there's a slew of life simulation games in their rearview mirror coming up that yes. are gaining speed. They're getting nervous, and this is why we like competition in our businesses, because competition means you have to make a better product to get ahead, and they can it see it coming. It took 10 years, but we got there. <laughs> Seriously. Like, and did a couple of their sim gurus jump ship for other, yes. for other yes, games as well? So, he, And I think he left with no... Yeah, he left with no job in sight, and he recently joined another game. I don't think he uh, like he okay. didn't get leave for this game. He left and found a game, which also is a little worrying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone either sought him out, knowing the good he does, or he just happened to stumble on another simulation game. But either way, EA, figure yourself out. Why did it take this long? Like I do, like this is it's great, good, but this should have happened years ago. <laughs> <laughs> right when dine out was not working when some of the base issues with this game were not working and it's the uh, people have mostly mentioned like that simulation lag of like i told you to go do this and you just stood there yeah for ever and just like go 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 so you have to play longer and then you just get frustrated and you quit because you're like well they're not doing what i told them to do yeah so how many times have I yelled at my Sims? Like, I asked you to go do this. Why are you not doing this? Why are you stuck? So since this came out to today, this Tuesday, the patch, including some of these fixes, were in there. So the stuff from the laundry list, I was keeping an eye on it, and stuff from the laundry list were in these patch notes, which, good, because you made a big-ass announcement, so I would hope at least the first time they did it. So some of the things that were on the laundry list that I cared about <laughs> that were in the patch notes were be gone. Weeds, plants won't grow weeds when out of season. If a plant has them, when it becomes out of season, the weeds will be removed when it sits seasons again. That was so annoying because there'd just be weeds on your, you can't do anything about it. Sims can properly merge and move households with NPC Sims not in worlds with the merge move button. You had to, you couldn't do that in the house. You had to go outside the house yeah. and then manually move them around. You couldn't oh, okay. do it by the phone. That was the problem I was having. And then mm -hmm. I, I, it, I was just like stuck. Like, oh God, what am I doing? You can't move anybody in. You can't, you have to like, you have to go outside, go to the world and then manually move them around. <laughs> you couldn't oh, do it in the house. Annoying. Yeah. Oh, you thought you could hide dishes? We'll find we'll find you and we'll wash you. Dishes left in corners will no longer be ignored when cleaning up. There was more, but these were the ones that were particularly irritating to me that I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, <laughs> we are glad that they fixed these. Yes, because they're, they're annoying. Why are the dishes? There are dishes everywhere. And I'm like, bro, you were doing the dishes. This is that dish. How did you not see this dish? I can't see it because I'm floating... I'm a god above you. And you yeah. should be able to see this dish. <laughs> one of my one of my Sims houses, like when I put the walls down, I can't see the entertainment center anymore. And they kept putting dishes in the entertainment center. Oh, so wow. I never saw them. And there's a smell. And we don't know where the smell is. Yeah, we, they everyone's just are unhappy. upset. Because there's a smell. But here are the updates they made to the performance that they say should help with everything. They made some optimization so the game uses less memory. You may experience fewer crashes, better frame rate, and or more more responsive simulation. And they said they've improved the load process, so it should happen a bit faster. And I'll say I was in 
playing around a little bit today. And when my game, I will say it is loading in a bit faster. I didn't notice that, but my game did crash while I was in cast. So <laughs> I was like, well, okay. And I don't, my game normally doesn't crash too often. So I was kind of surprised. Interesting. And not going to lie. I don't know if it was because it was like going through Twitch two times, but it was like a little choppier than normal. Okay. So I would be interested to hear from anybody who listens, because we we did at we did our um, Patreon stream for um, Oasis Springs today on Twitch, and we asked people like, "Have you noticed if it's better?" And everyone went, "We haven't played recently." So <laughs> <laughs> well, the one the one person that has played is like, "Uh, it's a little worse for me." Oh, okay. So I would be interested to hear if people have noticed a difference since last Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I thought it did load kind of quick. Because part of the problem with the problem with the Oasis Springs, we were loading in big ass lots, so that was gonna take yeah. a second, no matter what we did. So that was probably a bad thing. But I went into like just to play normal house, and I was like, maybe it, it might be. I can't recall. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm also in time for a new computer for me, so I think it's just my everything's just slow. Did you put that on your wedding registry? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right? Probably should I put a PS5 on my wedding wedding today? <laughs> nice and a couple lego sets <laughs> oh nice or just put like game card like just parts of a just put all the parts of a pc up there so you can just build it oh, put yeah. the, like more go. expensive pc parts up there and okay, see if someone gets you give me this processor real quick the graphics card just slide that in there you need these i do I do. We already have the house. We just need stuff inside the house. So my laptop. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> well, so when you've already moved in, you have to go to what do you want? What do you actually want instead of what do you need? Mm-hmm. Money. Give me money. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> I do like the idea that I've seen people do for weddings is like you can f- help fund our honeymoon. I was like, that's a smart way to go about it. Of like, we don't need anything. We've lived together. We have all our stuff. Please just give, give us a nice money. trip. Pretty much, yeah. Give us money and we'll use it towards the trip or the other stuff, but give us money. <laughs> give us money. Thank you. Money spends better. Let's try to replenish what we just spent on this wedding. Yes. yes. <laughs> Let's break even, please. Yes. Oof. Uh, events. Oh, God. This, this just, the events thing just happened this week. So I saw it the first time when I logged in today to do the stream. Events are a limited time experience centered around a fun theme with free rewards or gameplay that adds new opportunities to the game. So there's a current event currently in the game. It's called the Sims 4 Happy at Home Login Event, which they need to work on their names. (laughs) Yeah. So the rewards can be claimed from logging into the main menu, clicking the event screen, and selecting claim for a limited time. And I said I couldn't do it. I kept clicking on the little bunny logo and it wouldn't do anything for me. Because I didn't get a, I couldn't think, it didn't look like a bunny logo to me. Because mine was just like a pop-up that came up immediately. And I had the pop-up too, but when I clicked on the pop-up, it took me to a video that explained the whole thing again. When did uh, you log in? That was, was that Friday? It's Friday. I wonder if it wasn't like live live. Oh, it might not have been. I'll have to try today. again. I'm intrigued. Because <laughs> it did it for me today. If 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 it does work for me, I will add a little note to this episode. So. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be broken. That's also fair. Could be broken. It wouldn't be surprising if it was broken. Not gonna lie. I seem to have avoided most of the broken glitches everyone else has gotten. So this would be the one that I get. Yeah, I can sell. I can sell cakes. My kids can ride horses. My game freaks out when I go into the fridge. If I want to like select from the big food menu. It'll take a long time to load, and it looks like it almost crashes, and then it goes into the... Every time. Every... Like, I have a mini heart attack every time I go into the fridge. I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) It's too many options. Eventually, you'll be able to get... So, I think uh, rewards can be claimed, blah, blah, blah. It it will be items that help create a comfortable hangout space, and in here is a new trait. Practice makes perfect. Huh. It looks like a dartboard game... I think, an, I don't know what this is, a necklace? I think it's a necklace. A mini fridge? I don't know what these things are. Looks a like counter. A counter. Counter. Maybe a hairstyle. Some throw pillows. The tray. And the vending machine is weak, is the last bit. I'm excited for the throw pillows. I have seen people call this microtransactions. It's not microtransactions because we're not paying money. 
but I do see it as a gateway to microtransactions. Yeah, it's like how every like mobile game does. Like log in every day for like your bonus, your daily bonus. And the person who implemented this, who did the article, is from one of the Sims mobile games. Okay, there you that's go. where he's from. So the fact this looks like a, a phone game is because he's he's from the phone game people. He's, yeah. It's what he knows. It's what he does. Yeah. He's like, we just reward them for coming. But also everybody went, but we played this game for three days and then we ignored it for months. Like, that's what you do. You play yeah, it that's, for- That's how you play The Sims. You play it obsessively. You go really hard for like a weekend and then you're like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. That's how this game is played. So like, they're trying to change the habits, but nobody can play- How everyone plays The Sims, you just can't- do it that way. <laughs> We've been playing The Sims this way for 24 years. You can't make us change now. <laughs> yeah, I saw a lot of people call it microtransactions. It's not. Not yet. Not yet. This could be a doorway to it. Mm-hmm. Well, their kits are their microtransactions. Come on now. Yes, that's a microtransaction. Yeah, that's the microtransaction. So people don't seem pleased about this, I will say, from the uh, comments I've read. They don't like what it could be people think it's something that they're trying to make us get used to so when it shows up in sims 5 we're not like nah, nah, nah. oh okay mm. that's what people think and also this one is just we have to lot we're doing something we're doing anyway so it's not that big a deal but what are the other events gonna be like yeah they try to do stuff like this all the time because remember they did that if there was an event happening in the park oh yeah the concert, concert. The summer oh, concert. Oh, yeah, the summer concert. I never did that. I forgot about it, too. Because it's like, oh, I have to go to it. <laughs> See, the thing that irritates me about that is I did take The Sims in one of my games to that. So it unlocked the t-shirts for that. Oh, okay. But, like, I am generations beyond that family now in different saves. And I can't access those t-shirts. But they're still sitting in there. They're like, hey, you got to attend the concert to go like, get these can't. t-shirts. Oh, like, wow. you can't. You took that option away from me. It's gone now. So I feel like like if we send our Sims at least once to these concerts, we should, should be able to get the t-shirts. The whole, the yeah. Whole time. For every time. They keep trying. So this might not stick. That was my main thing. <laughs> Probably not. Because I do this all the time. Because there was that Millie Bobby Brown thing. She was in the game for yep. like two seconds for something. And was she? Time. Yeah. Like, well, I think when we first started, she popped up. Like, Yeah, I think I caught part of it, but I didn't finish it because they took her out before I finished it. Ew. there's a lot where like this they try to do this for a little while but because it didn't get the traction they thought and so they're like oh let's just they did a day of the dead thing that i wish they'd do again like that yeah. could have been something that they could have done yearly like it's some stuff they do for a certain and at least with all that point. other stuff all those items are in the game now yeah yeah that's true and they could do it again they just don't like some of the stuff is yeah. like you could do this you're just not doing it we don't know why. I want my concert t-shirts. <laughs> like I see them. I want them. They're right there. And now we're going to move on to the our messier part of the podcast of just like Sims tea. Here's some tea. Here's some interesting things. I we kind of mentioned this before, but Sim Guru Grant joins Midsummer Studios to develop a Sims competitor. And Sim Guru Grant, I think just straight up left. He did not Yeah. I, I found his LinkedIn page, and yeah, he, he said he left without having a clue of where he was going to go. But some people thought that he was responsible for the state since war was in now. Like, he was, like, one of the drivers of the kits and stuff, so it might not. He was also the one heading up Sims 5. Project, yeah, Project Renee. Yeah, Sims Project Renee, Sims 5. So, like, it's... It's weird, like, we don't know, also, like, we don't know for sure what he was responsible for and not responsible. There's guesses yeah. of who was responsible and who was mm-hmm. responsible for stuff. But the fact that someone actively just left while producing a good game. Says something. With a no backup plan. <laughs> yeah. But he was there for a while, too, right? Yeah, I think like, so. Like. Sims three times, I think. Yeah. Um. So Midsummer is a new studio founded by Jake Solomon and Will Miller, former Fear Axis developers who worked on XCOM and Civilization. This life sim game will be the first their first game with Grant leading as its executive producer. And the studio wants the game to quote emphasize player driven narratives allowing communities to share memorable moments that grow out of the creativity of players themselves. So definitely more of a gameplay game. 
and yeah. not like gameplay and building and whatever else we use the sims for it's very easy to say what you want your game to be this early in development. that is true. very true that yeah. is true those are some great yeah. buzzwords i don't, <laughs> I don't think there. anyone i don't think anyone at ea expected like the sims 4 to be such a big builders game but it is no well when the gameplay doesn't work what are you gonna <laughs> the building That's still true. works who cares if the sims can walk on the platforms not us right this so... is just a decoration <laughs> So we'll see where this goes, but I guess like we're always happy to see somebody get a job, whether whatever he was responsible for here. And it's also interesting that I wonder if if they wanted it to be news that they got him. They must be if they're new, they're a new company. He's they probably really the only traction they have. Yeah. Hey, we got our star power. We got a former Sims guru. But that's gonna be years away. Yeah. Oh yeah. We literally just started. That's going to be interesting. I like the Civilization game. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Hmm. What's the um what's the artwork look like in the Civilization game? Um cuz sometimes with simulators that's if it's not if the artwork is like I don't like it, you don't want to play mm-hmm. it. That's the one problem we've seen with some of the other competitors coming down the line is this. Yeah. They could do better on their artwork, but it's not awful. But also I've just played older games for it, so it's kind of looked funky. On my end. Okay. I understand. Another simulation game that's apparently years down the line is Life by You, which got delayed for the third time. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this announcement wasn't even, because it's been the um, the team announcing. And Life by You was is the sim- life simulation game that is headed by the guy who did Sims 2 and a lot of portion of Sims 3 whose name I've now forgotten. I think Rod Humble. Yeah, it's been Rod, Rod Humble of the free computer in Sims 2 fame. Uh, they normally were announcing it, but this came from the CEO of the company that's paying for the game to get made. Oh. And you can say um, delayed indefinitely because they did not give a time frame of when they expect the beta. Because it was supposed to first come out, like we were supposed to start to see the beta in September. And then it got bumped to June, and now it got just fully stopped. Oh wow! It's it's, it's on the shelf right now. Oof. We believe additional ad- development time is needed. Yes. While we have preferred to commit to a new release window, we believe it is more prudent to hold off while we plan ahead rather than committing to a new date that we cannot be certain to meet. So, and a lot of people were throwing out that they maybe threw too many things into the ring to. They're paralyzing it. And I have a little more faith in Paralyzed right now because they actually they actually have a date now. Like, because Paralyzed before was just kind of a random ass. And Paralyzed got re- really too excited about adding things that currently Sims people were complaining they didn't have. So then Paralyzed uh, yeah. was like, we're going to do that when we haven't seen, like, the actual game yet. They were too focused on, like, adding One things. Things the Sims. It. Yeah. So they basically pulled back. Yeah, and they focus more on actually showing some gameplay. Now that we're actually seeing some products for Paralives, I'm starting to turn a little bit around. But we'll see if they hit their first deadline of next year, of 2025. I think it's the fall. They just said 2025. The, the thing I saw it just said sometime in 2025. <laughs> we we will see if they hit that vague benchmark. They put. I mean, it's better to be vague at that point if you don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, but we'll see if they hit it. Mainly because that one is, it's only like 10 people, and this one has an extra, and Life by You had a whole production team. team. So, interesting. Yeah. But some people were like, this is probably the best move to not let it out completely, because not let Life by You come out again, because it would end up getting slaughtered, because there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up in the rearview mirror for Life Simulation games. I found a subreddit that's just life simula- life simulators, and it's just about all the life simulation games that are be- going to be coming out soon. I was like, oh my god, this is so helpful for me. Ooh. There's so many. Vivaland coming out that's slated for a 2024 release. That description is, become the director of your own story in Vivaland. Design characters, craft stories, build a house, and invite friends to create and live together. Inzoi. Inzoi, which we've talked about. That's probably the biggest one people are excited for. That has very realistic looking. Th- this one yeah. might do to your computer what Sims 3 to do your computer. Oh, God. Yeah, that's honestly what I've seen because it's all like open world and it's very heavy on the graphics. Yeah, oh. it looks 
And this is the one that people are really the most excited for. It's currently in, de- um, it's under development, but it's in a closed demo right now. So it's kind of inching closer to being done. There's also something called Little Sims World. Little Sim World. That, that looks cute. That does look cute. Under development slated for 2024. Set in the heart of London, Little Sim World is a cozy 2D life simulator that reshapes how players engage with their surroundings. Customize your character's preferences and living space while interacting with an array of cute characters. Enjoy the various oh. city activities and just have fun. That sounds cute. Uh, and then, like, there's a lot of stuff, like, slated for 2024 or 2025 release, so... Uh, never mind there's stuff and then early access there's something called tiny life that's on early access although community reports state the game still needs more development it looks a lot like sims 1 honestly it does (laughs) like with the slightly worse 8-bit graphics yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah i really liked this simulation also what's also turning my brain a little bit for paralives are there people in here in the this life simulation subreddit that pay for paralyzed their patrons and they say like they're absolutely happy with how they're spending their money and they're looking forward to it and they have more info than we do okay so unless they're just drinking the kool-aid they're like they have like high i wonder if i could find it again so i was kind of happy to hear like just to like dip my toe into how people actually who pay for it how they feel about it um paralyzed patrons how do you feel about the game's progress so the top post from today, 28 days ago from new ant 3365 So it said, I resub every few months to see progress and bashes and every time I feel like they're doing great. For a small team with only so much funding, they're super organized and have probably the clearest idea of what they want to be and what they have always wanted to be with this game. Their marketing look, just the way they present everything is also so clean professional every post. And somebody below said, I'm honestly very pleased with the way the devs update. I can get a little impatient when there's periods without big updates, but that's me. That's a a me problem. (laughs) (laughs) And someone else said, I never believed the game would come this far. Looking back when I watched the first YouTube video, I thought just another desperate indie dev trying something new. I guess I was wrong. So the fact that like, there's that many, like, they're just like, ah, yeah, I didn't think it would get here, but it did. And I like what I see. And there's always progress that I like to see. I was like, okay, maybe... Maybe something is happening. And the fact they put out that video this year of, like, actual gameplay, I'm a little... It's still wild that they... <laughs> yeah. They're being, but if they can actually hit their mark, like, it's never going to topple The Sims because it's going to... It's an indie game. And I think them coming out with their thing saying, you'll never have to pay for expansions is also wild. To never have any DLC in a game like that is a wild concept. But if that's what they say, I don't, I think that's going to get taken back, but. Yeah, it's, it's going to get scrubbed from the internet and everyone's going to be like, when did we say that? <laughs> <laughs> did we say that? No. What? We said okay. that? You guys are making stuff up. Oh, the videos keep automatically playing and they're loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of life simulators coming up in the next like year. We were supposed to have life by you by now. That's, but since it's delayed indefinitely. We might not see it at all. Yeah. And the fact that it came out from the CEO kind of makes me a little nervous. That's wild. People think, because they were wanted to be very mod focused. Like you could add your own dialogue instead of it being like, dag dag, you could make them say whatever you wanted. You yeah, could make okay. that and the speech be anything. Like the, the, I think it was going to be like speech bubbles and stuff. Like you could make them be like, say certain things and stuff. And I was like, that's a lot. That was my first thought was that's a lot to jump into if you don't really like pretty much letting you like, hey, if however you want to run the game, we'll let you run that code for. Yeah, like there was going to be open code and you could do whatever and which is a shaky place to announce again. It's interesting if you can make it work, but I guess that they're not making it work. So, Mm. but yeah, that was all the wild sporadic news that... (laughs) All happened in like the last two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was. It was like I don't. We hadn't done a social bunny, so we're like, oh, I don't really know what to do. It was like, oh my god. And then it's like, bop, 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 bop. Here you go. Everything. Because te- technically, technically, we were gonna take our break starting after the dessert episode, and then all this news came out, and we we're like, we have to do it. Now we gotta bunny. do one. <laughs> one more social bunny. <laughs> 
And then we can officially announce we're, on, we're going on a break, which I don't think we normally do. Most of the time we just go, and peace. You won't hear from us for several months. Yeah. And nobody knows why. <laughs> <laughs> I'll post a picture on Instagram. That's the last you hear from us for like two months. Because we tired, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or half of us aren't here. That's the main yeah. other problem. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm sorry. I know I've been dark. I'm my bad. No. <laughs> Planning a wedding. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, there was a part for the part of the reason there was a full month between the first half of the desserts episode and the second half of the desserts episode is all of us were out of town for numerous weekends. So we were like, we'll just it'll we'll have a month to cook our pie. So it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> We'll get there eventually. It's fine. It'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> but yes, we are going on our summer break, so you will hear from us closer to the fall. August, September, we don't know. When we feel we'll like figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda like, hey, I'm feeling like starting stuff up again. Okay, let's get let's start working on stuff. <laughs> it is fully like I have a need to talk about this weird Sims thing that I found out about, or like I just did this challenge and I have a need to talk to talk about a microphone. This. <laughs> So who's up for it, guys? <laughs> yeah, that's as soon as as soon as somebody's like, or it'll probably be a social bunny, and it'll probably be like, well, fuck, enough of happening. <laughs> like we dig ourselves out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, time to work again. There's been enough. There's been enough news. Okay, let's tell them we're alive now. <laughs> no, it's just been life in. Mm-hmm. A life outside. People getting married. People doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. You two two weddings in the under the pump bob crew this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. Julia just got married. Congrats. Just got married. She a wifey now. What's her wife era? I'm a musical person. so She's a Sadie to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can find us at Plum Bobcast on Instagram, Threads, Blue Sky, Hive, and Twitter. Um, Plum Bob Podcast on Reddit. Under the Plum Bob Podcast on Facebook and Tumblr. Our website is plumbobcast.com. There's a contact form there, or you can email us at under the podcast at gmail.com. We have a merch. Merch is at uh, bit.ly slash plumbob merch. You can join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash plumbobcast. You can do our broke newbie family for $1 tier. You get access to our Discord chat with us and our fellow Simizens and us under the plumbob team members. Or you can do a three dollars if you got it for top hat money, <laughs> and then you get access to the monthly bonus episodes. Our Patreon is doing. We're like slowly rebuilding, remodeling like the world set in the Sims game. So we did a Willow Creek thing, and now we're working on Oasis Springs. We just streamed two of the air Willow Creek. We stream. We did a showcase stream, and we did all of it one go. That was five hours, and that was a mistake. That's too long for anybody to talk. <laughs> much it was too much and so now we're breaking it down when they finish like an area we're gonna we've been streaming those so we they finished two areas at like pretty much the same time so we streamed like seven houses and everybody's just so talented everybody's so good yeah Love that and our bonus episode there was what's coming out with the bonuses we're catching up yep we're doing a lot of bonus episodes. We got a lot of stuff in the works. So if you want to give us three dollars over the summer, we'll we'll pump you full of bonuses. Pump? Why do you use the word pump? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you pump? Pumping them up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump that plump Bob's beard up. <laughs> Give us three dollars in your hand. (laughs) Wave those three dollars in your hand. (laughs) You just don't care to give it to us. I'm kidding. (laughs) Well, one of them I recorded it. It's in your hands now. For the I cheated with the baking episode, and I had a I. You can cook with other Sims, so I had a friend who bakes come over to help me for my (laughs) cake. And I recorded it on my phone and I was like, if this is good and like, I don't know if the audio is good enough. I think you can hear my phone vibrate when it like when I get messages and stuff. But I just like put it, my phone on a windowsill as we like cooked as we made the cake. So that's a bonus, I think. Yeah, I think that's it's cute. cute. I was told the audio is good enough. So I was like, OK, cool. <laughs> it will be a bonus. We have we have all kinds of bonuses. Any any topic we want to talk about. That one truly is. 
I need to just bleh something I I'm obsessed with right now. And <laughs> I know like I want to talk about this and only this right now. Does somebody want to <laughs> talk to me about need this? Need a mention. There may be a Buffy one coming up soon. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised it's taken us this long. I'm not going to lie. I'm <laughs> I'm doing a rewatch right now and I'm forcing my dad along. So that's fun. Nice. (laughs) Hey, I told him after we were done with season three, I was like, I'm going to let you off the hook now because I remember season four not being great. And also like they start to get more like emotional, I guess. And he doesn't care for that. So I was going to be like, you're off the hook now. And he, the next Sunday he came up and he was like, it's Buffy night. It's like, I left you off the hook. He was like, we can keep watching. And I was like, okay. So he doesn't hate it. (laughs) I think he's like spending time with you doing it. I think, yeah. I do think he does. He's like, also, he at least likes the actor who plays Spike because he looked him up and was like, that man's not British. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> your dad's so cute. <laughs> that man's not British. What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you can subscribe, rate, and review us at apple pod i don't know why i'm gonna say apple podcast still a thing of course it's still a thing apple podcast spotify <laughs> it was google google music google whatever that went away google podcast. yes google podcast went away apple podcast spotify youtube music tune in pandora and more because apple actually branded the name podcast so i don't know if they'll ever actually go away did they really because it, it was like pot um it was like ipod yeah it was something to do with your your ipod, iPod. oh interesting so they do own, like, I don't know if they own it, but they're responsible for the name podcast. Okay, Apple. Taking over the world. <laughs> One good thing. <laughs> Thanks to the random ass websites we used. Yep. We'll have all the links in the description. And thank you. And thank you for listening. Thank you for still listening to us. Yeah. Here is Ramble and Tangents. <laughs> I hope you all have a good summer. Yeah, we're excited to be back with you guys in the fall. Stay safe. Wear your sunscreen. Wear your hats. Drink your water. Drink your water. Drink your water. Save your games. It's def going to be hot. I So it got to 80 in April this year, and people were like, oh, my God, it's so nice. And I was like, this is not good. No, <laughs> like, it's not a good time. <laughs> I was like, this is not when it's supposed to be 80. If it's 80 now, what's it going to be like in July? Mm-hmm. Oof. 100. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it better so stay be- safe. Drink, drink your water. water. Drink your water. Everybody's drinking water. Everyone stay hydrated. Yep. And coffee is not hydration. As much as we love no, coffee, not, it is no. not hydration. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's water, isn't it? It's got water in it. Water goes through the beans. I literally had to tell one of my team members that because she was like, it was so hot. It was hot in our restaurant. And she goes, Oh, I have a headache. I just finished my coffee. I was like, sweetie, coffee is a diuretic. That is basically dehydrating you water, dehydrated water that's getting in your body. So you need to go drink a cup of water. She goes, really? I was like, yes. Do they not teach us in school anymore? Apparently not. <laughs> so I haven't seen the Dune movies, but I tried to, I tried to read the book. I didn't do it because I don't know. <laughs> the book's a lot. But they, I feel like they, the Kafka thing, they drink like a coffee-like substance when water is scarce. And that I immediately was like, but coffee dehydrates you. And how are you getting the water? Like, you're wasting water on the, like, wait a minute. I thought too much about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, wait, water is scarce, but it's coffee. Like you need water. I'm out of the store oh. now. I'm too done. <laughs> I was thinking too hard about, I was like, I gotta go. I'm, I'm not taking the story right. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm on the wrong part. This is not for me. This is not for me then. <laughs> See, in magic books, it can just be like, it's a magical reason why it doesn't do that. In, sci- in like sci-fi, it doesn't work as well. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have like a kind of a reason for that. Magic, you can get away with like, well, it's magic. And you're like, okay. And then in science fiction, you have to be like, is this science or is this fake? (laughs) What universe is science are we following here? Yeah, what is this fake science or is this real science? I don't know. I don't understand. (laughs) Science is science. What? (laughs) It's, It's just science. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Science. Yep. Science. I was. I had thought. I was like, how do we end this? <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 Bye.